Hello my Sock Universe for the fourth and final part of this Premier League jersey review. Boy this has been uh, a blast but also a little bit exhausting of shooting the now this fourth one all in a row but you know better to get them done uh, one at a time. For this video I chose the, my first gifted jersey ever this Wolves shirt from last season which sponsor aside I actually really liked uh when i reviewed it but the sponsor is the one thing that i yeah ugly sponsor we will come back to that uh speak of which since this is kind of a yellowish color i know it's old gold but you know kind of a yellowish color uh i was actually thinking i have four yellow shirts associated with premier league teams uh, kind of the same color um and i thought can i do the entire review wearing only yellow turns out no <laughs> <laughs> because two teams are in the same video but you know maybe that's something for the next video uh but yeah so i have four different colors in each or had four different colors in each of the videos um and also uh the other thing i need to say it was kind of you know i changed around a whole lot always trying to make it colorful in in a way and i think now i changed even more than before in any case, uh, enough of me babbling. How do you choose the teams in this video? Well, you, if you saw the first three parts, you already know. If not, I took last season standings, which you have here, and then I went 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1, and every team with a number 4 next to it is in this video. And then I sorted them alphabetically, which means we'll start at a newly promoted team. But before we get there, I gotta say the selection of teams in there is... A rather rather interesting one. we have the champions of Europe and one of the top favorites in there we have the fairy tale story the not quite fairy tale story from the last two seasons in there we have one of the most interesting teams in all of Europe's Moneyball in there we have the newly rich that actually might find themselves next year in the uh, in the premier uh, no, 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 in premiership uh, in the championship and then we have Wolves, which I, dish, I chose to wear, which are one traditional power. So a really, really interesting lot. Now we'll start at Brentford, newly promoted, as I said, Moneyball approach. Uh, to me, Brentford becomes one of those teams that I really, really start liking. Yes, I'm a statistician, so I totally can support this approach that they are use, uh, they're, they're using. And I wish them all the best of success. In addition, they're kind of fun to watch. So uh, a really, really interesting team. Maybe the least interesting part of theirs is the jersey, which kind of follows the same uh, as Sunderland and Sunderland. Uh, many English teams are red, white with black uh, shorts. Sunderland, uh, Southampton, I actually meant to say Sunderland is another one of those. Uh, Bilbao, of course, you know. It's a very English uh, color scheme, which given their nickname that they have and they have to be in the crest, I really would love if they would play in black and yellow stripes. For some reason, I think this would look awesome, uh, but you know, gotta go with the traditional color, so uh, fine by that. Um, it's not the most exciting Umbro Tempt templates. I think the same that they use for the West Ham um, third shirt. The color is a little bit weird. I do love the Hollywood bets, Hollywood bets though, uh, with the star up there. Uh, that looks some actually quite nice. Not much wrong with it, but also not very exciting. You know where this is going. I think six stars. However, I would like to add Brentford just because I really start liking them. Gotta support fellow status statisticians. They're away jersey. Yeah, that's the yellow and black. This is the beast. Uh, however, it should be a little bit more striped. There is a weird, uh, you know, umbro diamond pattern in there. Not weird. It has an umbro diamond pattern that makes it interesting. Other than that, it's a rather average shirt. This color crest, I wonder, couldn't we have the normal crest up, 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 up there and the B would stand out a little bit, little bit more and give it a little bit more to look at. So it's a little bit on the boring side, but you know, it makes sense in terms of club. So I'm going to give this five stars. Yellow should always be the secondary color. And then we have this third shirt, which I think would fit very well for West Ham. I'm not so sure if it fits very well with Brentford, but I think they've been using stuff like that. But I don't quite get where suddenly the maroon and uh, all the, the, the other two, the light blue and the uh, kind of pink go in there. That is a little bit weird. As I said, more West Ham and Aston Villa than actually Brentford. So I'm going to go four stars. Sorry, Brentford. I like you, but I think your jerseys uh, leave me a little bit wanting. 
if you look at you have the same covers like Southampton and see what great jerseys they got uh, that was in part two of my review let's go to potentially the wildest jersey of this season where we were so close of getting this in Champions League final when until cooler senses prevailed they wore this in the FA Cup final that Chelsea lost to Leicester and I guess I don't know whether they decided on purpose to go back to the old shirts uh, then or is it still the UEFA regulation that you can only wear one set, a set of kits during the entire Champions League season. I really wish it's the second one because this would mean we are not getting new shirts in a Champions League final. I gotta say when I saw this I thought uh, WTF um, especially I mean the pants <laughs> have the same kind of pattern but um, what I don't like is that you have this kind of zigzaggy weirdo uh, 60s psychedelic pattern and then you have another psychedelic pattern only here on the side this is the thing that I don't quite get with this shirt uh, other than that given 60s London and whatever I actually totally get it that you need to have a little bit I think uh, that the Chelsea uh surroundings they, they, they were big on the psychedelic stuff in a way i might be wrong now but uh i have a feeling that you know art scene and so on that, that there's something in the back back of my so in that sense it fits it's a little bit also pop art there so uh i get it i get it uh don't like the flashes here on the side but uh the one thing i'm a teeny bit disappointed is uh that despite all the yellow accents on the shirt and on the pants that the socks are still white and I know classic Chelsea look uh, blue blue white but I think there's a little bit of an opportunity miss there but you know it looks Chelsea in many ways this is one that divides opinion uh, and unfortunately <clears throat> I think I'm a little bit more detracted uh, to side and it's basically down to what I said this contrast that runs through the crest you have the zigzags and then you have the checkerboards and so I'm honestly thinking uh, because there's quite some creativity in there four stars the sponsor of course I don't mind the logo but I know it's not the prettiest one uh, but I think it also fits kind of a six eight I'm gonna give this four stars uh, although I can see where this is coming from I have actually more problem with the more traditional looking away shirt yellow great for Chelsea uh, I love my me a yellow uh, Chelsea away shirt, but why black? Make this royal blue and you have something. It would be a wonderful if this was royal blue and even with the full color crest. I think this would be a wonderful jersey. Probably the problem is that we have seen such uh, such a jersey so many times that yeah, it doesn't really quite fit. But this bugs me and it bugs me big time, in many ways. Other than that, it's a really nicely crafted jersey, but I cannot go higher than five. Honestly, I know. A little a little bit harsh but the black bugs me this is would be better for wolves but then the color would be off in many 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 ways but it doesn't look jealousy to me and in a similar way i have a problem with the third shirt you know i like third shirt you do something different that's okay but use at least as an accent one of the club's colors now chelsea doesn't have many colors it has only blue so yeah you go this darkish blue kind of stark thing with orange which i think there was at least one third shirt uh, in the 90s that had orange in there so yeah but then you use the same weird liverpool pattern with the color patch on there that blah. at least the dark blue somewhat this chelsea yeah maybe 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 not I still I, I, I don't know overall I'm not I cannot get really on board with the Chelsea sh uh, shirts this season I'm also gonna go f because of the weird weird time that the temp template I'm all also gonna go four stars here Chelsea leaving me rather 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 cold and yeah these are the potential outfits of the upcoming champions so let's go to the team that beat them in the FA Cup final with Leicester oh, who I have to say rather standard adidas fair yes they still keep the gold in there but i have to say the white color turns me off i did they have a white color last season probably probably, probably did have two but it was a little bit better executed although it was a template that i didn't like 
I like a template better here, but it's somehow it doesn't really connect. And it's all the pattern. I think I would have liked it in a much... If this was a plain shirt, I think I could get more on board with it. Still, it looks good. I'm a little bit... I mean, a little bit more that there's no King Power on there because I like the logo. Uh, the FPS trade online looks... Uh, it's a bit too clunky and a little bit too boxed in, 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 in any way. You know where we're going with this. Uh, down the middle again uh i'm gonna give this six stars because you know it's still very much leicester but then again uh away jersey why cannot just leicester go with white why they have really trouble with putting white it's every year we have a different weird color and then in addition this pattern that looks kind of like um like this thick cloth in in, in a way but very 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 white white not white very very white Nah, 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 I, 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 no, no, three stars, and don't even give, give a star in the third jersey. Uh, modern Adidas template in all colors that are non-Lester. This might be the ugliest shirt out there. I mean, you cannot get me with gray, gray, pink, black, and that is a Lester shirt, and then you cannot even see the fox on, on the crest. I am sorry. Well, I'm very tempted to go two. To believe I'm going one here. I, I really don't like this one. This is just awful. In it, it is going in all the wrong directions. Which leaves us now with <laughs> two of the same brand. Castore, which we didn't have. Oh, Castore. I, I always want to say it in the Italian way. Uh, Castore, but probably it's Castore. Uh, Castor. Uh, you let me know how you... Castor, Castor, Castori, or um, Castore. Castore would be nice. I actually have to have, have, have to look up it. I, I guess this is a British brand. Newcastle, the newly rich guys, um, are now with Castore. And Castore tried to deliver a nice shirt with a nice grand that color, uh, black and white stripes. There's nothing offensive there. The only thing that's offensive on there is the sponsor and the fact that they use red. Again, red numbers when the front is blue. This is one of those things that is too stark of a contrast to me. And I cannot look past that, 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 that one. But what the sponsor does, and many have seen this already, but if you haven't seen that, the sponsor together with the granddad color in white, which I think is a nice touch, creates a front number. There's a number four on there, which you cannot unsee. Once you've seen it, they decided to introduce a num number of the front and every player gets the same number to uh, confuse things further. I hope that with the new ownership, as controversial as they may be, but I do not want to see this sponsor ever on a Newcastle shirt again. It is ugly. And I have loads of respect. I mean, I've been to China. I have studied uh, for a year, even Chinese. That's a long time ago. I barely can say anything and, 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 and anymore. But all, all, all I want to say is I have plenty of respect for China. But on a sponsor, you either go all Chinese letters or all Latin letters. You don't mix it up. And it's better Latin letters because they look a lot cleaner than Chinese letters. That is my big, and then you have them both, and it looks weird. Da! Ruins a shirt that actually has really a lot going for it. Maybe the weird is the ventilation holes, I think, on the back, that are white dots on the black uh, stripe in any way. Totally ruins the shirt in many, many ways. And so a really pleasing overall shirt gets dragged down by that i still want to give it six stars because i like what they're doing but there's so much going wrong here i cannot tell you uh i actually absolutely love the away shirt uh in the blackish gray with kind of the sound wave in there and then golden accents and even the white although it's a lot of colors this looks really really nice i think they have even matching goalkeeper kits with that that is Take something completely new, slightly different, and it looks absolutely amazing. I love this shirt. I'm gonna go nine here. I uh, don't wanna say much more because it really looks amazing. And then the third jersey, I think the blue makes kind of sense because we had always a little bit blue in Newcastle, and even on the, on the crest there. Also a nice geometrical pattern, although I don't know why it has to break just below the sponsor. 
and note how the sponsor on a non striped jersey looks better it's still i think on, on the previous i didn't mind it at all here i minded a little a little bit more uh but yeah i think it's interesting i but also yeah five stars let let me not talk <laughs> too much and we are at the final Going from Adidas to Castore, we have Wolves, and Wolves have the same problem with the sponsor. I think Wolves have probably the single ugliest sponsor in the entire Premier League. What is this? And I said already enough. Uh, I think if it's just the, the first logo, a funny thing is when I got, when I pulled the shirt, 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 shirt on for, 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 for the first time, the M, my kids say, ah, you have a McDonald's shirt. That's how good bad this is. Other than that, take a sponsor out. Very clean, very nice looking wool shirt. I am not sure about the black thingies here on the side. I'd rather would have all black side panels or leave it all in gold. But other than that, mm, yeah. But sponsor side, I think the shirt is neat. I'm gonna go now the same way as I went with new. Castle, but I'll drop it a step down because I think a Newcastle shirt has a little bit more uh, but you know uh, it's one below Newcastle but it's uh, overall good the sponsor really really drags this down uh, the away shirt I think tries a little bit too much uh, with all this uh, you know gray black uh, then all the specs on there to me this is just a tad too much and then ugly sponsors so well I do like the idea if the sponsor, the main sponsor, was the same color as the Castore logo, I think I would give it a higher grade. And you know, the Bitcoin, whatever thing is there, if that also fitted, I think this would look better. But uh, so, just a three star. However, will end at least with a very pleasing looking third shirt. This one, I love. Similar color as here. Uh, white, you have the old gold and the black in there. Maybe this livers a little bit too much again, sponsor, blah, blah, blah. But this one looks quite all right. And I'm going to go seven stars with this one. And there you have it. The full Premier League review. All the jerseys that I currently know of reviewed in one evening. I stretch it out now over two weeks. Um, in any case, I would like to know which shirts in this video you liked and which ones you didn't like. And the same thing, where do you agree, where do you disagree with me? I will again post a poll for uh, which sets of these five did you like best. And then we'll do, of course, a final one where I take the winner from each of the four and we'll choose the overall winner who has the best set in there. Uh, in any case, I will do uh, most likely the La Liga review next. I will leave Serie A because there are uh, still jerseys being released here uh, here and there. So uh, Serie A will be last, so La Liga is next. Um, in any case, subscribe to my channel if you want to see these or other reviews and stay updated what's going on in my soccer universe. And give me a thumbs up if you like this video and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might actually enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell, so in order to get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe.